Hi there. So we've been put into tier three along with almost all of Surrey. And the new rules start on Saturday morning. That's the 19th of December. And so you're probably wondering, well, what does this mean for church? First off, let me say there is an exception for Christmas Eve. So on Christmas Eve, you can attend church not only with your own household, but also with the households that you have bubbled with for the Christmas period. So if you've bubbled together for Christmas, please book together at the same time so we know you're sitting together. But apart from that, well, what does tier three mean? Well, we, we can still meet as a church and actually the church service will look very similar to any other week. There's one big change, and we'll we'll come to that in a minute. But just a, a reminder before we get to that change about the importance of being careful. Even if you personally feel pretty relaxed about the rules, we, we've got to consider one another. And I know there's people who feel not able to come back to church yet. They feel quite nervous coming back to church. And there were some people who came last Sunday who felt uncomfortable because not everyone was social distancing and people were milling around indoors after the service. So please do be vigilant about social distancing, wearing your mask where appropriate, following the one-way system, doing everything you can to help others feel secure. But like I said, there's one big change that Tier 3 brings, and it is this. We are no longer permitted to mingle or socially interact in the car park after church. Before the rule was no mingling indoors, but we could talk to up to six people outdoors while social distancing, but now it is more strict. There is no mingling in the church car park. And I hate to say this, it goes against my every instinct as a pastor, but please do head home after the service. Or, or perhaps you could go for a walk one-on-one -on -one with someone, but please do vacate the church car park after the service is done. And I know this is such a disappointment because church isn't like a transaction where we can come, get what we need, get a top up, then go home, like going shopping or going to the petrol station. No, as a church, we're a family. We're there to support and encourage and love one another. So that makes this especially hard. But let's just remember, this isn't stopping us from loving one another. All it's stopping us from doing is saying we can't gather in the church car park after the service on Sunday. But there are other ways during the week to reach out to people. So let me encourage you to do that wherever possible. And even if we, we can't catch up after the service, seeing your faces, seeing people there brings such joy to my heart. And I'm sure to yours as well, that it's definitely worth being there. So for many of you, I will see you on Sunday.